have updated them. So I'll, I'll, I'll send them to you and uh, yeah. Uh, so just really quick, the the this concept that we are deepening our knowledge of the uh, quarter note and the eighth note, right? Mm -hmm. So the quarter note is our basic timeline. And we split up the quarter note in twos, mm -hmm. or we swing, which is threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, so when I count, I count pretty inconsistently, because that's how my brain works, but mm -hmm. it's this concept of being able to kind of zoom in and zoom out on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so zoom in on, if I'm here, these are eighth notes, actually, if we, it's basically the eighth note is the thing that if you're swinging, it's the thing that will swing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, on a basic level, basic on level one, basically your eighth notes are straight or swing. Mm -hmm. So in other words, the Bach example, this is straight. So what I'm tapping is the quarter note. Mm -hmm. That doesn't change. If I'm doing eighth notes, I can go or right. That's swing. Right. Anyway, uh, so I sometimes I count in eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So it's eight beat cycle. But you can also count one and two and three and four and one. So if I'm counting one and two and three and four, and that's more specifically um, quarter notes with the eighth notes. So if I wanted to swing, all the ands would be the notes that you're swinging. So the numbers are are straight, and the ands are swinging. So one, two, three, right, one and two and three and four. And if you wanted to swing something, that's the conversion. So, uh, uh, that's, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to get across there, but, and sometimes, you know, sometimes it's, it's better to zoom in, and, uh, you can come up with any number, whatever grouping you're trying to figure out, if you make, uh, the even timeline, uh, you can, it's helpful. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Uh, here we go. One. Mm. similar to hit it and quit it, only we're in B minor now. Hit it and quit it was up here in C. Uh, Chitlins is in B minor. So here you have your B minor triad. There's your B minor seven because it's a flat seven, right? So I'm taking the seven, putting it on the bottom, and my left hand's playing B, so I don't really need to worry about that. Uh, so if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. If I 
but do three and seven. It's like where the snare kind of would go if you're doing a backbeat. Mm-hmm. Three and seven, mm-hmm. right? Turn it into eighties rock if you want, whatever you want to do. Turn up that lexicon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can do that for the whole bass line. Uh, this would be when you go to the four chord, E minor. So you have E minor triad, flat seven. Taking the seven, putting it on the bottom, getting rid of the E because I'm playing it here, and actually I'm going to go down one more. So, E minor seven. Here's F, F sharp minor. F sharp minor seven, getting rid of F sharp. And putting the A on the top this time, that's the inversion. Okay. Uh, and you can play it a couple different ways. I like that if you, if you don't have anybody else to play with, mm-hmm. uh, as far as a drummer anyway, and you have, if you, it's just you and like a guitar player or something, and you want to give it a little more rhythm. It's just like in hit, hit It and Quit It. That, that's just a, it's a very common thing that people do. You go to the four chord, four major. Because it's the same shape and you can kind of go like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay to learn like that, but 